there was a slave trade in Puerto Rico, maybe around there 500 years ago, when the colonization of Spanish people. And when they end up with all our natives, right, they decide to bring African people. African people, they just don't come, they don't come just by themselves, they come with their culture, with their language, with their religion, uh, which is embedded in everything that they do. And if it's not a religion per se, it's going to be a spirituality involved. So they brought them here and and they had their rhythms and they brought from different di different tribes. So it was what is what it says that they it was difficult to communicate in language because every tribe has a different language, but it was more easy to communicate in rhythm, you know, like and what the African slaves will do, it, it was like they will play certain rhythms that if you trace them back, they most of them has a meaning. Uh, an example, uh, there's a rhythm called yuba that it was like in the Congo area was like played by women uh, or it was focused on women power and then over here it transformed more like a march and something it's like the step is very rigid and it's you most of the time let the elders uh, dance it because it carries a lot of sorrow and pain and so so they brought all this all these rhythms and they were like they need to express themselves in a way and most of all the postures that they use in bomba are related to pride and slaves were not allowed to be proud you know, of anything they were they used to say that the slave would get in the sugar canes and would get together and start playing drums and they take the, su the sugar barrels and put a goat skin and you put the, there's like usually two a drum that is going to play a basic rhythm and there's going to be one drum that is going to be marking the steps of the dancer so while the dancer move is at the same time the dancer is dictating uh, what should be played in order to like increase the animosity of the music and it's improvisation although there's like there's traditional steps that are in that process but the dancer will just get involved and 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 move their souls and the spirit and most of the time there was like a lot of things depending on the rhythm some are about pain sorrows there's other rhythms that were like more flirting and more like sensuality there's other rhythms that are more uh like like a newspaper they tell stories uh, there's other rhythms that that carry a lot of like determination and they're very sharp um, there's other rhythms that are like uh, particularly in the area that they play in Puerto Rico everybody's very close to each other so it's still like familiar so there's a lot of like trust how they move to each other and there's a lot of hip movement and a lot of, a lot of like explosive expression uh, some rhythms are very like constricted and a lot of figure because that's what they inherited from the Spanish mm. like, culture too because Puerto Rico is a mix of Spanish, Native Americans and and slave so because we're a mix some you can still see some like traces of Spanish culture or some traces of a uh, indigenous like like Tainos like an example one of the instruments that they still use is a maraca and maraca is a indigenous instrument uh, this, the drums are from like Africans but so yeah so they will they will play and they will decide to sing you know like Depending on the song is whatever all the feelings are gonna be there and the and the dancer is gonna uh, Move express himself because uh, it's actually it's like a cultural expression So you have something in your mind, but when you go in there sometimes you just like zone out and it's like however you feel uh, You you follow some steps, but you also break them down, you know, cause, because you're trying to express yourself. It's very like cultural expression. Well, that's my approach to it. Some people are a little bit more traditional, mm -hmm. so they wanted to do it how they used to be, da, 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 da. but other people are more like, this is my culture, I'm gonna own it, I'm gonna like move how I feel I should move. And and the main feeling is to, to be proud of who mm -hmm. you are and what you got. You know, it's kind of like if you're oppressed by something else, so when you dance, that's your maximum expression. So the, I'm not oppressed anymore. I'm free and this mm -hmm. is who I am. And almost all the postures are all about pride. And pride in that, in that uh, for the sugarcane times, 
it was uh, punished by death like you know like they will kill them if 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 the slave master if the slave was like too proud and things the the master was like want to like hit him until he he will be submissive and that was the only place for them to be proud that's why all the dance is like hmm, look at me like mm -hmm. i'm here like watch me like mm -hmm. this is what i got uh, like and because it, there's a particular dynamic between the main dancer and the drummer which is a mirroring uh, it also like you you the montas you know like you get in your maximum expression but there's someone else that is reflecting that in, in a sound so you are you're expressing yourself but there's there's a consciousness in, in it because you're making music and music is very sharp and it's very mm -hmm. determined right and and you can play with music but music if you play too much it will sound weird so you also as a, a good dancer express himself but also want to make a mm -hmm. really nice sound you know like you are want to be aware of how it sounds so, so for me bomba it's 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 like the roots of puerto rican identity mm -hmm. so wherever there's puerto ricans it doesn't have to be puerto rican but a person of black of, of color there should be some kind of resistance to express who they are uh, which is beautiful to be flexible and love other cultures but you first need to know who you are right. in order to embrace someone else mm -hmm. i believe that there's healing in this tradition too so as a spiritual way to connect with whatever is over there you know like uh, uh, it's good to feel that that sense that belonging mm -hmm. and and that know that that you are part of a huge cosmos and you need something to contribute and and that's through drums rhythm and and expression